Hello folks and welcome to that screencast, Danny here. In today's video I'm going to show you a case I got for my Canon 600D. Um, I've just got this camera recently, I've actually got a camera bag where I keep the camera and all the lenses in that bag. I definitely recommend getting a camera bag if you've got a lot of lenses and that because it keeps all your gear together and also protects your, protects your um, lenses and stuff like that and also the camera. But I thought if I'm going out for the day and I don't want to take my, my whole camera bag with me, I just want to take the camera and the lens and put this into the bottom of another bag. I don't want it to get beat up and scratched in the bottom of that bag. So maybe get some sort of case for it would be a good idea. So I went out and got one from Amazon UK and it was only £9, which I thought were a bit of a bargain. I think that included packaging as well. So I thought that's pretty cheap. I'll get this, see how it goes. And to be honest, we've been really impressed with it. Like I said, it's just a cheap Chinese case. But for the money and the quality you get, I'm really impressed. So I thought I'd bring you a video. So let's take a close look at this cheap case. So here we have the um, case, close look at it. As you can see, it's actually branded with the one brand or O-N-E brand. It's made from a neoprene material and it's the foam on it's quite thick, so it gives it quite good protection, I'd say. And the stitch on it's quite good as well, good strong stitching, so it should last a good while. On the bottom you can see there's a Velcro to get into the case. Inside again, it's just the same material, but in black. It's got this um, elastic here. Um, I think this is for putting on your wrist, like so. So when you're holding the camera, taking shots, you can just have the case on the actual wrist um, so you don't lose it. But obviously you won't be able to carry the camera on your wrist while in the case because obviously it would be too heavy. It just like obviously snap the actual elastic string. So we have the Canon 600D with the 18 to 55mm kit lens. Let's see how well it fits into the case. So there you go, fits quite well. A little bit hard to do it on camera, but it fits the case pretty decent. As you can see, the case completely covers the camera, but just leave a little bit of a gap here and here. And this is for the actual camera strap so if you're someone who wears a camera strap then um, you'll be able to have the case on as well as having the camera strap around your neck which is quite nice um, I find this a little bit annoying this, this bit of elastic I don't I never know where to put it I guess I can stuff it in there I guess worst case I could cut it off if I wanted to if it really annoyed me but uh, I'll just shove it in there out of the way so this is probably the best lens in my kit this Tokina lens and I'm a bit worried that it might not actually fit in this case um, because it is a little bit bigger than the kit lens so as you can see here, it's slightly taller, not a huge amount, but a little bit taller. And it's quite a bit um, fatter. It's definitely a bigger, chunkier, heavier lens. And this is actually a 16.5 to 135mm lens, so it's got quite a lot of zoom. So this is probably my preferred lens to use. If I went out for the day, this is probably the lens I would want to take, just because it's got that extra zoom, and it's a little bit wider as well. But it's a little bit heavy, so I'm not sure if I would take this one. But I'll just say I did will it fit in the case let's have a look so there you go there's the Tikina lens inside the case it does fit quite well there's quite a bit of stretch in this um, material so it just about fits it's not as not, it doesn't fit quite as well as obviously the kit lens because that is smaller and it's a little bit harder to get in but to be honest it's not um, too hard so I'd actually use it like this with this lens so I'm pretty happy with that so here we have the Canon 55 to 250mm lens and um, this is not quite as wide as the Tokina lens, um, but it's quite a bit taller, and it's definitely taller than the kit lens. Um, it's quite a light lens, but this will not fit in the actual case with the camera. It's just a little bit too um, long. It's about an inch and a half longer than the normal kit lens, so it's not going to fit. So if you're going to want to use it with a longer zoom lens, you are going to struggle. So as we know, this lens is a bit too big. Um, from this end of the camera to the end of the lens on the Tokina. It's about six and a half inches. Um, with this lens on, it's about seven inches. So this is way too big. So can't use that. So if you've got anything around about six and a half inches, it will fit in this case. And obviously anything smaller will fit in this case as well. So overall, I've been really happy with this case. For nine pounds plus packaging, I think it's just a good value for money case. If you've got a 600D and you're looking for a cheap case, then I definitely recommend this. I think it's a good purchase. They do this case in different sizes, so if you have got a different um, type of camera than what I've got, then definitely check them out as well. I will leave a link in the description to this actual case on Amazon if you are interested. 
Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, then please give it a like. It's much appreciated and it helps out a lot. And I'll see you in the next video. See you later, guys.